Hello. We got a question on the forums that I thought would be better answered through a video because it involves quite a few steps and some moving parts. The question is how to add a zoom image on Hover. Uh, so the user would like to integrate a zoom effect. Let's take a look. So this looks like it's a jQuery plugin to zoom. So if we mouse over, uh, we can get a zoom in and mousing out shows the full image. Taking a glance, this looks to be a fairly standard jQuery plugin, so it shouldn't be too much trouble to integrate into a hype document. There's a variety of strategies you can use. The one I'm going to show gives the most flexibility. And so what we we'll want to do is start out by downloading the plugin and taking a look to see uh, what's actually required. So if we take a look um, at the folder we can see it has the uh, jQuery Zoom JavaScript, but nicely it also includes a demo. Uh, so let's take a look at this demo file. Uh, looks to be about the same examples as before. So why don't we look at the source code for it to get an idea on what we might need to do to integrate. I'm opening this in Whisk, which is a HTML editor with a live preview. Uh, we don't really need to concern ourselves too much with the preview, but let's take a look at the source. So it appears first that there are some styles um, that look like they're necessary, given that some they say aren't. In fact, in testing, it seems this is actually required. Uh, there's some code to include jQuery in the plugin. There's the code that actually sets up the plugin. And then we have a little bit of HTML, which uh, includes a span with an ID that the plugin talks to and the image that we want zoomed in. And this document has uh, four different images. We'll just do one since this is an example. So Hype is an HTML5 animation app. Um, generally, you would do a lot of interactivity and animations in Hype itself. But the question is about integrating the Zoom plugin. And actually doing mouse over effects isn't one thing Hype particularly does. So it's uh, a, a good way to integrate some external source into Hype without really getting into the mechanics of Hype itself. So this is really more about just integrating existing code. And so if we want to do this, um, looking at the few parts, we have a few tasks ahead of us. Uh, one would be to um, import the image and add to the Hype document. Step two would be to include the CSS. Step three would be to include the JavaScript. And then four would be to actually um, integrate the, the code or run the code maybe. So we'll knock these out one at a time. So the first thing we want to do is import the image. Um, so if we look at the folder, uh, it was referencing this daisy image. And so getting this into hype is fairly simple. We can just open the resources library and we'll just drag the daisy image into the resources library. And so in Hype, you would typically uh, just drag this to the scene and you have the image like so. However, if we look at the actual code we're dealing with, it's surrounded in a span and the uh, JavaScript deals with the span. So instead of treating it as a Hype native image, what we'll actually do in this document is insert a rectangle. And under the hood, a rectangle is just a div. So we can edit this rectangle and we could type in regular text there, but if we click the little pencil, we can edit the inner HTML of this rectangle, of this div. And so what we can do is just copy and paste uh, the span into the inner HTML. And so now we can see the image shows up. Uh, one little thing to keep in mind is that this is referencing daisy.jpg, but on export, it's actually gonna have a different path and so Hype has a magic variable called the resources folder name that we need to use to properly reference this image so that when we preview or export, it actually shows up. And so there we can see we have the image showing in a HTML document. Now you'll notice there's some additional styling from the rectangle element, so we can just remove that if we want. So now we have the image um, within the span showing up. So we are done with step number one. Um, I'll just italicize that. Now moving on to step number two, include the CSS. So here in the 
HTML page head, we have some CSS. Um, and it says that these are styles unrelated to the zoom, and we can see the star means pretty much any element. The P is paragraph. Yeah, we don't need that. It says this is just for the demo, but I, I'm pretty sure we do need this. Um, the magnifying glass icon, you would need to do a little bit of work to get that to work and include the icon image, uh, but we definitely need this. We don't need the EX2. That references um, this specific ID, but we're only doing the first one. So we'll just copy and paste um, this and kind of trim out the things that we don't need. In Hype, you have access to what the Hype generates as the head HTML. If we go into the Document Inspector, there's this button, Edit Head HTML, and we can simply paste the styles in there, and we'll go ahead and trim out some of the things that we know we, know we don't want. We'll leave in the magnifying glass, but that'll be an exercise to get that working later if you want. Uh, it's not really relevant to get the demo working. And so now we have the style in here. Um, I don't think any of that style actually applies to the document right now. I think it'll apply after things are set up. Uh, but just know that we, we've got the CSS working. So we're done with step two. So go ahead and do that. And now step three, include the JavaScript. So if we look at this document, we have um, jQuery that's included, and then we have the plugin that's included. So step one is that we want to copy and paste um, their jQuery. And there's different CDNs you can you can use. They're, they're using this CDN, so we can just copy and paste this line pretty easily. And here we're back in the head HTML, and so we can just paste that at the top. And so now we're importing jQuery. And the second thing we need to do is import the actual plugin itself. Um, so that's pretty similar to how we did the image. So in here we have the jQuery zoom. We also have the minified version, so we might as well use that. And so all you need to do is, uh, in the Hype document, just drag in that file. And so if we look at the head HTML, we can see it actually got imported um, automatically but it got imported above, and that's not quite right. When you drag in a JavaScript file, there is an option include in document head, and so that put it at the top. However, for jQuery plugins to work, they actually need to come after you've imported jQuery itself. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this line, paste it below, and then we'll uncheck include in document head which turns off Hype's automatic import, which you can see is now gone, but we have the manual one we copied and pasted. And you can see this, like the image before, is referencing that resources folder name magic variable. So now we have the plugin JavaScript in there. Um, and so the last thing that we need to do is actually have the code that runs the plugin to do the zoom. If we were to run it now, nothing's happening because we've done nothing to tie in the JavaScript to our HTML. So let's go ahead and do that step. And if we look at the source code, uh, they have a little bit of a script that says when the document is ready, uh, go ahead and do the zoom on the EX1 element on, on this span. And that's what sets up the plugin and, and gives it all the interactivity. Now the way they're doing it here is they just have the script in the document head and they're saying when the document's ready. Well, unfortunately, Hype has its own loading mechanisms, and so when the document is ready, the Hype document like, actually isn't and isn't fully set up, so this won't quite work. Um, so what we want to do instead is say, hey, when, when, this, when the Hype document itself is ready, not when the HTML document is ready, then we can run that code. And the best and easiest way to do this is on scene load. Um, in the scene inspector, you can add a handler that will run JavaScript. We can make a new function, and so we can do the setup here. And so we, we don't need the document ready because we know we're ready because hype scene load happens after. So we can just take this line, copy, and paste it like so. And that'll set things up when the scene loads, and then we should be good to go. So now, hopefully, cross your fingers, everything is set up correctly. So we'll go ahead and preview this. And if we mouse over, uh, then we should zoom in. And you can see we do zoom in, and when we mouse out, it zooms out. So that's pretty much set up um, the Zoom plugin with Hype. And so that's how you integrate it. 
Clearly there are some other things you can do. Um, for example, the EX2 div and three have separate options. Uh, if you wanted to do something like the icon or integrate those, you would need to add the resources folder name ahead and, and drag in those resources. So there, there are some extra ways, but that's the basic way in which you set up using the Zoom jQuery plugin with Tumult Hype. So I hope that helps and good luck on your project.